What's up, gamers? WQ here, represent, outside, represent, Oregon. So there was this speedrun marathon trailer just dropped today, yesterday, and, and it's called Oceanside. Now, which ocean? You're probably wondering which ocean. Apparently it's on the East Coast. So if you're on the East Coast, you know, I guess that's, that's some pride. But actually, guys, this trailer was kind of a silly trailer. I'm like looking at this thing, I'm wondering, is this real? Is this is this a real event? Like, is this really gonna happen? Like, or is this a big joke? Are they just fucking with your boy WQ? Which one is it? Who? Which one is it? So that's what I was wondering. And now we know it's on the East Coast. Um, let's go into this trailer. So this trailer starts out with some kind of that '70s show, cross Seinfeld, cross Dead or Alive, Extreme Beach Volleyball, and then they're trying to pr promote and brand speed running around that like okay i i'm already wondering like what the hell is going on here like how could your brand for speed running be a stock stock 90s footage of beach beach side playing outside cross speed running and then the dudes you show speed running it's not like they're particularly athletic or, or good dudes i mean you have trihex in there you know i'm a trihex supporter you know I'm out there representing Trihex, but then you have like Skater and like some dude playing Mario Kart. He's like hunched over. Steve straight out of uh, McLovin. Like my favorite part of the video is when the guy jumps in the water and then the next clip is some dude playing video games. And it's like, do, does anybody expect these people to go outside at this marathon at all? Or to actually like go swim in the water and like jump off the rock? Like, I, do you guys realize? And the silliest part, they've released six of the six, they're inviting 16 runners. They're inviting 16 runners from around the world, around the globe. They're inviting this house for a two day marathon, which already ran two days. They want to raise 20,000 to fund this. Crowdfund 20K to fund this. So a bunch of lonely nerds can speed run for two days together. Like, so you, you have to wonder, like, is this gonna happen? Is this real? Like, what the fuck is going down here? What, from what I've gathered, the person who, Apollo Legend, who um, released the video and who is tweeting about it, he says, no matter what, it's a, it's a win. No matter what, we'll find it. You know, it's, it's easy. This is what he's saying. They've raised $200 so far. Like 200, I can raise 200 in a stream. Like 200 is down a lot for, out of 20K with an 18 day, fund limit like that seems kind of bad but it does say spring 2018 so why is there an 18 day limit on your gofundme are they trying to gauge interest is that what's going on and now here's the tactic um, these guys are using what they're doing is hitting up the big streamers and they're hitting up people with large fan bases like trihex and they're trying to get them to promote it to their audience so that they can successfully crowdfund this because all six of them combined would actually hit a lot of people and it would hit a a lot of potential investors. Now their biggest mistake, I'm not there. So that's gonna be a huge loss for them already because I'm the most entertaining person in speedrunning. They have a guy named Easy Biscuit and he's going, he doesn't, this guy, he has like 70,000 YouTube subs, like that's cool, but he doesn't even speedrun. So Apollo Legend, I don't think the, that guy speedruns either. Trihex doesn't particularly speedrun any much anymore. I know he did play in like, Super Mario World 2 ROM hack version 7 and no one else, he's the only guy running it. Like it, it, no one else can even run it because it's not released to the public. So I think he has a time in that. So, I mean, half of half of their of their roster they've released, they're not, it doesn't even speed run. Okay, they have cheese going. That's easy. I think that's easy. So, all right, that's fine. They have a guy named Joshimus going, who I think he played GTA like four, four years ago, five years ago, but does he still run? I don't even, I haven't seen this guy stream in years. Like, so already their their lineup, their roster is pretty sad already because they they don't they have like half of these people don't speed run. They're not relevant anymore. They're not particularly known for like their speedrunning accomplishments. So this is less of a speedrunning marathon and more of a hangout get together that's going to be broadcasted with the logo. It's a speedrunning logo. Another thing is there's no girls. So think about this house, 16 men, mostly virgins, age 20 to 30, not, not a lot of social skills. In a, in a gaming house, 
I guess they're going to the beach. I don't. It's called Oceanside. I don't know if they're going to the beach or not. And they, there's no girls. There's absolutely no girls there. So, what is they gonna do? What are they gonna do there? Are they just gonna play? I mean, I guess it's a speed running marathon. But easy, easy YouTube Miss Bisquit. He doesn't. He doesn't speed run. What are you just gonna hang out? Now I guess they're bringing him and Apollo Legend because they make speed running compilation videos. So I guess it's like they're gonna sit there and make speedrun compilation videos as other watching people speedrun I guess that's kind of cool now they've raised two two big ones guys two hundred dollars in two days out of their twenty thousand dollar goal so yeah I mean they got what four or five months let's say five months for this oh it's easy it's a win dude it's it's in the bag but a lot of that was day like an hour after the trailer was released they had already raised 100 so in 24 hours after the trailer was released they've only released raised another hundred dollars which isn't very good now there's always going to be a rush at the beginning and at, at the end and i don't think they've really gone or tried to promote this at all yet so who knows but guys it gets even worse because halfway through this video um you see apollo legend himself uh talking about what's exactly going to happen and what's going down i can't i kid you not it's in four by three the resolute imagine if this vlog there's just my hand the whole vlog like and I was like right here. That's what it looks like. It's the it's four by three resolution. And I'm like, dude, okay. My criticisms aside, if you're trying to raise twenty thousand dollars so you and your friends can go hang out in a house for two days, two days, which is, it should be more, then put some production value into your video. Like, what are you doing? That's not even that's not even criticism. I'm not even be critical. That's brain. That's like obvious day one stuff. This is like elementary school. That's like high school like level editing. And like here's the thing, you you uploaded the video knowing it was in four by three. You have it's in spring 2018. So this is what I'm wondering. If it's if if this thing's supposed to go down in spring 2018, which is the very first slideshow, it looks like fucking uh, straight out of a cross between S Seinfeld and uh 90s nickelodeon like nick at night crap you know where they're at the beach and they got the surfboards that's what it looks like that's what they got going down so if you're trying to raise your twenty thousand dollars and you don't and you have a four by three resolution and then you you do the take of it and you're like all right that was pretty good you realize like oh it's four by three and i'm trying to raise twenty thousand dollars um and this is kind of a i mean it's an entrepreneurial move i like that um let's let's just not do another take Let's just upload this because it's six months from now and this is the first video and this is the big video. It already has 7,000 views, you know? Now we don't need a real, we don't need HD. It's not, it's not like it's 2017. Let's just keep the four by three resolution. Um, and then we can, we can collect our $200. Um, and then, you know, the other 20,000, meh. Maybe, maybe they'll swim. They'll swim to the East Coast because it's on the East Coast. Cheese can swim all the way from Spain to... He can swim all the way from Spain to Virginia or wherever it's hosted. Right, so Cheese can swim there, you know. He's going in. And then Easy Mustache, he'll make a compilation video of Cheese's uh, transatlantic swim. And then there's the whole marathon, right? There's the whole marathon and then speedrunning is saved. Speedrunning has been saved. There are no more problems in the speedrunning community. SM64 fails uh, is, is still is not around anymore. That We've eradicated that uh, pest, that problem in the community. Now that's, that was solved. That's gone. At least fix the resolution. At least feel like, what are you doing with the resolution? How hard would it be to do another take, even if it was the next day? What's the big deal? It says it has 18 days to trying to raise 20 grand. That's not gonna happen. There's no fucking way in hell. There's no fucking way in hell that's gonna happen, right? If you guys were at like 10K right now, I think people would keep donating, but it's at 200, no one's gonna donate. And I noticed they lowered their goal from 20K to 19.6K. So I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe they, uh, maybe they like decided to buy less pizzas for day two, the big finale, but nobody's gonna donate. So the, in the 18 days, there's almost no way they're gonna raise the 20K, but it happens in spring. So that's not that big of a deal. Even if they only raise like 1K in a month, that's still really, really bad. But I mean, that's not, that's not that bad. But if, it, if it's six months from now, then why didn't you do a second take? Like, why did you just take the four by three? I mean, the problem is, you're, you're, the people who are watching, the people that want to want to invest in this, like I want, I honestly wanted to donate in this, but I, I'm not, I, I don't know if I can trust this, right? I don't know if is this real, is this happening? Like, what exactly is going on here? Like, even if I was contacted, would I even want to go? I know that on that weekend, you can catch me on New Zach Island hanging out with my girls, Hitomi and Helena. 
You already know what's going down that weekend, guys. You already know it's gonna be a three-day banana blast. Three big days, me, my girls, and New Zag Island. You guys already know what's happening. Why would I wanna go hang out with a bunch of sweaty nerds? Sweaty virgin nerds in a house. I guess it's on the beach. I, I think, here's the, next, here's the next thing. Why are you guys naming it Oceanside? Name it something that is not uh, pretty dumb. Like maybe name it something speedrunning related. That's another thing, like random, okay, Easy Escape, this guy, he made RuneScape videos for like a year and then he failed to make RuneScape videos so he started making speedrun compilations. And then now he's a speedrunner. Well, you didn't do anything. You just made speedrun fails, top 10 speedrun fails. This impossible speedrun will never be beaten even though it's a complete lie, it's a complete farce. So it's like, what, what exactly have you contributed or have you done to for speedrunning? And I actually do think these stupid videos these guys make um, actually does contribute a lot. I think it does do a lot um, for the, to grow the scene. Because I mean, these videos are getting like a million views, 800,000 views, every single one. So that's pretty big. And a lot of these speedrunning, um, speedrunners that put so much time into their games, there's no, nobody ever knows about it. So they spend like years into the, these games and nobody knows anything about it. So it's really easy for people to come along and make these compilation videos, make them get a million views, and then, you know, people, so, you know, honestly, truthfully, it does grow the scene. Again, truthfully, if Easy um, Peanut Butter goes to this, vid, this compilation thing and then he makes a compilation, okay, he doesn't speed run and so he's just going to sit there in the marathon, but what he could do is, you know, get, get footage, I guess, and then make a compilation. Like, that'd be kind of cool, but the problem is, and I know um, Break the Summit, like, Melee's been trying to do this for years, or they have Break the Summit. Every year, Break the Summit, it barely scrapes by. Like, the truth of it, the tournament kind of sucks. It barely scrapes by. Like, it's really not that good of an event. The other thing is it's completely funded by Break the Summit. The Melee players don't have to do anything. They just hang out. That's a four-day event. A friend of mine asked, hey, it seems like 20k is a stretch, nobody's interested, a lot of people are skeptical, and believe me, speedrun is already clicky as hell. Speedrun is clicky as hell and I know the first hand experience of that. I've been dealing with clicks in the Link to Pass community and the speedrunning scene for years. I, I know that more than almost anyone else. Cl it's clicky and it's a lot of people who are very underrepresented and they feel very marginalized in society. So you host a 16 in-fight only um, special speedrunning marathon with people who are seemingly all similar. I mean, you know, it's, it raises this question. Seems like you guys are a click. Seems like you guys have a click operation. You're trying to crowdfund your vacation with your friends. I don't think that's a very good thing. And again, now someone asks on Twitter, well, how are you gonna, what are you gonna do if it only raises like $4,000? Are you gonna keep the $4,000? Is it gonna go back? I mean, what's gonna happen here? And Apollo says, trust me, it'll get, it'll get solved no matter what. And the guy's like, well, what's going on? I don't like, I don't really understand. Is it just gonna, like, what are you gonna get? Where are you gonna get money? He's like, I'll sell my body parts. And it's like, okay, conversation ended. Okay, you gave an answer and it seems like you're dedicated, but what does that mean? Are you actually gonna sell your body parts? Like what's going on here? Where there's no community trust. And that's a big problem I have because I want to support this event, but I just can't trust this event. Doesn't seem like you guys care. I don't know who's going. How are you going to get the funding? And then why, why not me, you know? Okay, yeah, I'm not going. You guys don't like talent. You don't like uh, good speed running. Yeah, that's fine. I get that. But what about a lot of speed? I mean, there's thousands of speed runners. You know, what about everyone else who feels marginalized? Why should I watch your event? Why should I spend my precious time watching your event. Why should I spend my precious money donating to your event when I'm trying to go to AGDQ? I'm trying to speed I'm trying to make people laugh. I'm trying to make people laugh and have fun. Why should I invest my resources into your event? What am I going to get out of it? What is speedrunning going to get back from it? I did not see any of that in the trailer. What I saw in the trailer is poor editing. A bunch of people I don't, I don't, are not relevant. They're not relevant to speedrunning. The thing about these YouTube guys who get, they get a, like a million views and make some stupid speedrunning video gets a million views. Great for the scene, right? Those million views, one, the engagement's really low. Number two, the value of each view on those videos is really low. And so even though it gets a million views, it's, they're very uh, irrelevant comparatively. So there's no personal, personal connection that made. They're basically, it's the equivalent of these Minecraft people back in 2006 or whatever, 2008, when these Minecraft YouTubers got really big in 2010. These Minecraft YouTubers got really big and 
billions of views, millions of subs, you know, everything was going really well for them. Well, a lot of these guys fell apart and it's because they didn't actually have dedicated audiences. It is like little kids. And it's the same with a lot of these um, speedrunning compilation channels where I guess it's not kids, although truthfully, maybe it is a bunch of kids. But the problem is engagement's almost non-existent. Engagement's non-existent. There is no real promotion or brand or idea. It's not actually trying to help speedrunning. You make 10 or you make 30, I mean, for example, you make 32 videos in a row, top 10 Mario 64 cringe fails. That's not helping speedrunning at all. Like, where is, the, where is the return? And so it seems more like a lot of you guys are trying to profit off of speedrunning rather than grow speedrunning. You know, when I see Easy Escape, I don't see someone who's trying to get involved in speedrunning and grow speedrunning. I see someone who's specifically trying to profit off speedrunning. And personally, as someone who commits almost every day of my life and the entirety of my mental resources into growing speedrunning, growing the speedrun itself, I don't feel like I'm, I'm being rewarded. I don't, and I think a lot of speedrunners, because I know a lot of speedrunners feel very similar to me. So I'm asking you guys, like, what are you going to do to get the, to get the community to agree with your pitch? You know, and, and this is a question I was asking earlier. What about the long run? When I see this, I see $200 into a $20,000 goal. Very little community engagement, very little community interest. I see a lot of people saying, where's the money and it doesn't seem like there's really a plan there it doesn't seem like there's really anything going on there and i i would like to say this happened but the other problem is what's going to happen after let's say the event gets funded let's say it's pretty fun it's entertaining you know it works and it's fine then what it, you break even you break even right breaking even is good because it's not bad right that's what people think that's not how the internet works that's not how business works if, if you break even it, it is a fail there, there's no break even here and succeed. And I think of me and a lot of speedrunners, a lot of actual people who are interested in speedrunning, don't just go to Reddit and rip these stupid videos and get a million views. A lot of us are actually wondering, where, where is the long-term goal? What is the actual goal here? What is the connection here? From what I'm getting, it seems like, okay, how can we get, how can we justify me and my friend, my YouTube friend, Easyscape, to, to hang out on the East Coast? for two days, two day marathon guys. Where's the long-term projection? What's going on here? $200, it probably has about $205 by the time I'll go home and upload this video. So when I look at this event, almost certainly it's not a scam. Almost certainly there's no way this is gonna be a scam, right? But let's see about this. Because a lot of times when big amounts of money are being handled and there's no real certain way to evaluate who's handling the money, where's the money going, how is it being deviated, out, deviated about, there's very little transparency, a lot of times the money's lost. And this happens all the time. And for one example, back in 2008 or so, there's a melee tournament and a masher named Zelgadis Stole the first place prize pot, it was like five grand. He just swiped it. And then they spent like 12 hours. Hey man, what? none of them expect him to do this. Like, what's going on, dude? Did you take the money? He just denied it the whole time. Eventually he gave in, they got their money back, they banned them from tournaments, right? So that's what happened. So, you know, I don't think they're gonna have 12, 20 thousand in cash on the table. Like, oh, where did it go? But the problem is, nobody knows what's happening. Nobody knows what's going on. Can, can we trust these guys? I don't know who Apollo Legend is. Does he speedrun? I don't know who this guy is. Uh, yeah, he has 70,000 YouTube subs. Does that mean anything? Does that really mean anything? Like, I don't know what's going on here. Has Cheese come out and said anything? Have any of these guys come out and said anything? Why are they only telling us six of the 16 speedrunners? Why, if you're asking $20,000 from the community so you can hang out with your friends and stream some of it, don't you think that you, have, you owe them back something? Don't you think you owe the people you're asking $20,000 from, you owe them back something? Like maybe all the people that are going. Why are you going exact date? Some kind of, some level of transparency. Because I don't, I don't feel right here. And what if this is a scam? What if this is a scam or it's handled so poorly that the money's lost? What if only half of it is raised and then they just take the money? And then people just forget about it. Happens all the time. 
Look at what happened to downtime death. Dude cheated for six months and they put his runs back on the leaderboard. And guess what? His runs would have stayed on the leaderboard if I had not started speaking up about it. A year later, mods, the mods are finding him. And guess what? I already had the foresight to do this. I started speaking up about it. I already had the foresight to speak up about it. Now there's no way in hell his times are going to be back on the leaderboard because I've already made a scene of the whole thing. How, what gives you guys the right to handle $20,000, ask the community for $20,000, no tentative schedule, no tentative plan, no house, no real address or dates. Who, who of you who of you could we trust to handle the money? Who of you can we trust to make sure this organization goes smoothly? Do, do any of you guys know? Do you get, any of you guys have an interesting? We don't even know. We only know the six people. Three of these six people aren't even really speedrunners. So what's going on here? At first, guys, I'm gonna be honest. At first, I was like, this is cool. But now that I think about it more, their trailer video, they're asking $20,000 and their trailer video looks like it was made in two minutes, completely unedited. And then they, they didn't even look over it. They just uploaded it. And these people are asking $20,000 from us. Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Are, are you serious? Like, why would I even trust Why would I trust any of you guys for it with $20,000? Sounds great. Let's just throw our money at these people. They can make a pro Is this the production value that's going to go into the stream? Is this the production value that's going into the... I know you guys are doing this to make YouTube videos. I know that for a fact. So why are you bringing Easy Escape around? You guys can't even make a decent video. Like, what, what, who, who trusts this shit? And then you guys, there's no plan here. People are asking, what, what are you going to do if you don't raise the money? What are you going to do if you don't raise the money? Who's going? I only know six people are going. Who can handle the money? Why do we trust the people who can handle the money? You don't speed run. And what can we do if you aren't able to raise the entire amount of funds? Because $20,000 for people who you don't trust, people don't trust you, it's a lot. There's no plan to be able to say, I'll sell my bottle parts. You'll sell your bottle? Wait, what the fuck? That's not a plan. That's, a, that's obviously a lie. Either you have some big grand plan out here and we're supposed to just completely sweep our trust to you or you're lying to us. Well, why are you lying to us? What's really going on? Why are you lying to us? You guys don't have speedrunners. Don't really know what's going on. No one knows what's going on here. Has Trihex come forward and made a statement? Has Cheese come forward and made a statement? You know, have, have, does anybody actually understand what's going on here? Is this event going to help speedrunning in the long term? Is it going to help people in the long term? What, what happens if this is a scam? What if this really is a scam? And then what? Speedrun can be fucked over. Think about this. Look, look at the Smash documentary. This guy asked for donations from a lot of people and a lot of people were really distrustful of him. They were like, I don't know, it doesn't sound like it's gonna work, blah, blah, blah. No, it completely changed Melee. That completely changed Melee. He did a really good job. He put his life on the line for that. Like, that's what I like to hear, you know? Every time when someone says, oh, speedrun is just a game, you know, this guy put his life on the line and that's what I like to hear and that's what I like to see and that's why I don't trust these speedrunners that say, it's just a hobby. Get rid of these people. Get these, get these people, these clowns out of here. Go clown. If you want to go hang out, go hang out at Friday Night Magic once a week. You know, you blow $20 on packs, booster packs. Go do that. That's a hobby. Go do that. When I spend my whole life speedrunning and committing myself to a game and committing myself to community, it's not a hobby. It's not a hobby. Okay? I'm not a kid. I'm not clowning around. I'm not like 14 years old playing Ocarina of Time getting a 23 minute time in Mario 64. It's my fourth run ever. I'm like, wow, I'm really improving. I really feel like I'm seeing a lot of improvement. I'm not playing randomizer, guys. I'm not playing rando. This is, this is serious to me. And when you guys ask for $20,000, make it a serious thing. Make this a serious thing because it doesn't look very serious. What do you guys think though? What do you guys think about this speed running marathon? These, I, I don't even know if it's a speed running marathon. Two day speed running marathon with 16 people. Doesn't sound like a speedrunning marathon to me. That sounds like a that sounds like a break the summit, uh, a crowdfunded break the summit thing. Here's another question: This thing's being crowdfunded, right? Well, that doesn't make me trusted any anymore at all. That makes me trusted less. How, how do I know this isn't fake? I have no idea. You getting you you tweeting at Trihex, him not responding, and then saying he's going to be and throwing his name in his video. Yeah, okay, I get that you have a YouTube channel and that you almost certainly aren't scamming people. I get that. Everyone understands that. It's not a scam. Okay, that's fine. How do we know the money is going to go where we want it to go? And how do we know speedrun people who donate money to this know that they're going to get a refund? I was going to donate yesterday. Thought about it. Why would I donate to this? Where's the trust here? 
Why do people donate to AGDQ? It's because it's clearly a there's clearly production gun been into it. Clearly, if you watching it, you can trust that your money is going to a good cause. I can't tell my money is going to a good cause. It's not like it's not like you guys are crowdfunding for some like charity. There's no charity here. I, I'm putting my money so speedrunners that are not me can go hang out with each other. And guess what a lot of speedrunners think of me? They trash shock me. They trash shock So I'm paying people to go trash shock me. I don't know where, I don't know when. I don't, like, if, I'm not getting, I don't get anything out of this. I, can, I get to watch a stream. From the looks of it, it's not going to be ran well at all. The stream's going to be a complete train wreck. You guys are probably going to lose a significant amount of money. What is the gain here? What is the gain here? So can you guys who are running this, please tell the community, show the community any sort of transparency, any kind of trust, like is there any way to make it so you guys can actually show to us that you care about speedrunning or that you're trying to grow speedrunning at all? Can that happen? Because I don't feel very trustworthy. I don't feel like if I put $10 into this, I'd be making any smart move with my money at all. Seems like it'd be a complete disaster. Um, honestly, I think if I donated $10, I lose $10. Now, I don't want you guys to mighty number nine it, get everybody's trust, and then pr produce one of the worst games of all time. But I think that's probably better than making one of the worst things of all time and distrusting people, right? At least the people, the idiots who donated the mighty number nine, at least they felt good for a few years, right? At least they thought, their money actually did something for a few years. Better than this, day one, whoa, I, wait a minute. I feel like I just got scammed. You guys ever done something online and you're like, shit, I just got scammed? Ever bought something online and be like, dang, that was a scam, you know? I don't, I don't think it's a scam. Again, it doesn't look like a scam. Paul Legend doesn't seem like the guy who's trying to scam people. But think about it. How do we know this isn't a scam? Guy lives in Oregon. Paul Legend lives in the same state as I do. He lives in Oregon. Pretty low cost of living here. How do you know this thing isn't a whole big scam, you know? How do you know he's not just trying to save up 20 grand and say, fuck it, I'm out? That's what the Young Link combo video guy did, right? He scammed the Melee community, made a fake combo video, cheated in speedrunning, and started making YouTube videos, no one cares. His YouTube views weren't hurt, his sub count wasn't hurt. None of that was hurt, no one cares. Now I get stealing $20,000. It's a lot worse than stealing $200. But, you know, how, how do you know? What if he thinks his YouTube videos, they have no depth? He can't keep doing this for another two years. And so he says, okay, I'll just get 20K, live on that for a while, and get a job at a grocery store, you know, and play video games. Not speedrunning, of course, to play Dota or something. And I, I don't know. I, honestly, honest to God, I, how do you, I know that's not happening? That could, that could very well happen. I don't know this guy. I've never seen him stream. I've never talked to him. He has 700 followers on Twitter. I mean, he has, sure he has 70,000 YouTube subs. Doesn't matter if this guy steals 20 grand. He, he, people, those people keep watching his videos. Five-year-old kids, 10-year-old kids, they keep watching his videos. What about that one uh, plank? The melee for pound four or whatever. Stole everybody's money. The big prize pool just never gave people their money. You know, that's what happens. How do we know this is not another plank? How do we know this is not another pound four? It just takes people's money. I think Plank actually did give their money back like eight years later. But let's be real, the only reason that happened is because Melee blew up and he wanted back in on the scene. And even then, he still got to trust, that, you know, what happened to the guy. So, downtime death. Here's the thing about cheaters. Here's the thing about liars and cheaters. Everybody trusts them before they cheat. That's the problem with them. Yeah, you don't know who's cheating. You don't know who's lying. You don't know who's running a scam. This guy very well could be running a scam. What if he roped uh, what if, what if him and Easy Escape? What if they roped these guys, Trihex and Cheese? We don't have the other ten runners. What if they roped them into their scam? I mean, Cheese. Says, someone says, "Hey, Cheese, I'll give you 20. i I'm flying you out to East Coast. It's called Oceanside. It's gonna be great. You know, it's great for the speed running. There's no, you know, there's no data. It doesn't back us up. I'm doing it. Just come over. Just say your name. Sign up, and then I'll tweet you on Twitter. Follow me, right? Cheese says, "Why the hell not?" Trihex says, "Why the hell not?" You know, Josh Emus hasn't been running in four years. Hey, why the hell not? Sounds like a good idea, right? <laughs> they don't know anything. Oh, we don't know. We don't know what's going on here. I, they, they're asking me for 20 grand. I have no idea what's going on here. I have absolutely no idea. Why do I trust them? Why would anybody trust them? And then when I get my friends ask this guy, hey, 
what's going on here? Like, what's the backup plan? What if the 20 grand doesn't come in? Because I don't think that's going to happen. Because that's a lot of money for something that's completely crowdsourced. There's no sponsorships. There's no sponsorships. There's no way to make sure this is legitimate. If this had sponsorships, I would feel a lot more trusting. If this had sponsorships, what's, what's going to stop you from just running out with the money? What if it is a real thing? Everything's real, it's all going through, and then you just run off with the money one day. You just refund all the plane tickets, run off with the money one day. There's no way to stop that. There's no way to stop that. There's no way anybody will know. No one will find out. It's your boy Easyscape, who doesn't make speedrun videos. He makes speedrun cringe fail videos. Cringe compilation. 55. Come on, dude, get out of here. Where is some transparency? Where is some transparency so people know in the speedrunning scene some reality, you know? So we don't get scammed again. Anyway, guys, I'm signing out. WQ in the building, I'm signing out. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you want to see more speedrunning content, hit me up, guys. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. I'm, make, I'm coming out with the whole slew. The biggest nukes in speedrunning. I'm hitting everyone. I'm calling everyone out. Every big name, you're not safe. You upload some sketchy, crowdfunding, bad tournament video, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, I'm cutting you down. That's how it is. Doesn't matter who you are, I don't care how good or how bad you are at speedrunning. I don't care how many times you spliced or not spliced. I don't care how many friends you are with splicers, I'm calling you out. And anyway, I'll see you later. Probably has about $205 by the time I'll go home and upload this video.